Welcome to the Fantasy Thinker. I'm Jared Quartermanch, and it is time for my monthly update. This is April 2023. Can you believe it? It went right by. Uh, so, what did I finish in March? I finished The Excellent Stoner by John Williams. Outstanding book. Anything I finish, you can see my review on this channel. And I also finished Return of the Crimson God, the second novel in the novels of the Malazan Empire by Ian C. Esselmont. Love that book. That that one was really, he ugh, really sunk his teeth into the uh, into the Malazan Empire there. Uh, so I also finished The Curse of the Mist Wraith by Janie Wirtz. Wars of Light and Shadow, Volume 1. What a chunker. It was outstanding. Beautiful writing. And I'm hoping to have some discussions about this. Uh, so more on that later. That's what I read. What I am reading now. I am continuing my series on um, Assassin's Apprentice. Waiting for that next issue number five to come out so I can do my side-by-side -side comparison of comic to prose. And uh, so I'll be continuing that whenever the new issue comes out. And I am also reading or rereading Reaper's Gale, Stephen Erickson. This is the seventh book in the uh, Malazan Book of the Fallen. And my continuing reread of the whole Malazan experience. And uh, wow, I, I blew through the first 300 pages of this. Um, you know, fast reading for me. Uh, and it's like a big, chunky 1200 page book. So, a lot of fun. And um, uh, I just love those books so much. All right, I'm also reading right now A Touch of Light by Chiago Abdallah first book in his new fantasy series and um it's called uh, the ashes of Averon. so it's book one ashes of Averon. uh having a good time with this one i only got about oh 130 pages to go so almost done with that one and i am also reading the way of adon by philip chase and i'm almost done i only got like 70 pages left in this beautiful prose puppy all right and uh so that's what i'm reading now hopefully i'll have reviews on all of those when i finish them up probably the way of a don first because that's what the one i'm closest to being done and so what do i plan to read once i'm done those which won't be too long from now i want to actually uh hit the library you know uh so I want to keep up with the Wars of Light and Shadow, and I'm pretty sure my library has book two in that series, The Ships of Merior. Um, so, you know, I'm doing a, kind of a read along with some other people, and uh, I'm having a lot of fun with that. Ships of Merior seems like it's uh, definitely going to be on my uh, my radar to pick up the library as soon as I'm done with one of those. Um, Beyond that, I would also like to read a history book. Uh, it's a new book called The Earth Transformed, An Untold History by Peter Frankopen. I think that's how you say it. Um, I love history books when they're done well, when they're done in a style that tells me a good story. And, uh, you know, a good history book can be just as engaging as a good fantasy and so i'm looking forward to that because i re read uh peter frank copen's previous book called the silk roads i think i got that here and uh a new history of the world and that was really outstanding gave a nice history of the world from a, a uh, center of the world perspective more of a persian perspective and uh instead of your typical western perspective that we here in the united states always get uh so that was very well done, and I'm looking forward to his new one, The Earth Transformed. Cool. Uh, I would also like to possibly check out um, Augustus by John Williams. That's like a historical fiction. 
um, and based upon how well Stoner went over with me um, and everybody else, I think Augustus would be right up my alley as far as good books with good writing. I also have ordered Forge of the High Mage by Ian C. Esselmont, the brand newest Malazan um, uh, book. Uh, it's, I think it's the fourth book in his Path to Ascendancy series where he's kind of detailing the origins of the Malazan Empire. And uh, I'm really looking forward to that. It's New Malazan, my favorite world, my favorite place, my favorite series, all that stuff. So I can't wait for that to come out. I ordered it. It's not due here till probably the end of April. So, you know, I'll be jumping in other stuff before it gets here. But when it does get here, I'm uh, sure I'll be squeezing it in as soon as I can. <laughs> All right. So that's um, that's my a April update. I do have some uh, other things on the horizon. Hopefully some chats with some people. I'll have more news with those on those uh, in the future. Uh, but that's it for now. Please like and subscribe below and uh, be good to each other. Thank you.